Financial prosperity is just a tool. It is not an end in itself. Look, a screwdriver is a tool. All right, you use it for, for screws, but you're not going to get a screwdriver just for the sake of having a screwdriver, unless you are an historian that gathers historical uh, objects. Then, even then, the screwdriver is not really the end in itself, but the collection is the end. There is nothing wrong with wanting financial prosperity. Because financial prosperity in itself, there's nothing wrong with it. The real question is, why do they want financial prosperity? What is it that they want to accomplish? What is it that they want to secure? Look, a screwdriver you use in order to edit screws in a construction. That's why you use a screwdriver. A knife you use to cut in meat or in vegetables. That's what you use a knife for. If you want a knife in order to cut vegetables or cut meat because you are a chef, you're working at a restaurant, or you are a housewife, or you're just cooking, then there's nothing wrong with wanting a knife. However, if you want a knife because you want a weapon in order to feel safe, no, there's something wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with a knife in itself. It's why you want a knife that matters. It is true that when you carry a weapon, people tend to back off. I mean, if there's a criminal and a criminal tries to rob you but you have a weapon, the criminal will think twice. It's true that if you carry a weapon, people rather not look for a fight with you. So that's a fact, okay? But carrying a weapon, in this case a knife, will have side effects upon you. And those side effects will endanger you, not the potential um, victimizer that tries to come after you. Even if it works to scare off a, a, a victimizer, with that you avoid uh, an attack upon you, you get relief. But with this relief now, you are operating in self-preservation and that knife is always in the back of your mind. So what happens when you feel unsafe? You go to, towards the knife. And what if that unsafe feeling was not based on a fact? What if you just thought that you were unsafe, but you're not unsafe? But now you've grabbed your knife. You get what I'm saying here? So carrying a weapon with you, there comes more with it. So again, wanting a knife? There's nothing wrong with wanting a knife, but why do you want a knife? The same it is with financial prosperity. A lot of people want financial prosperity just to be left alone. It can be that they come from the ghetto, from a impoverished background, and now they don't want to go to that anymore. There is nothing wrong with wanting to get away from poverty. It's a healthy thing to want to get away from, from poverty. But to want financial prosperity just only as a means of escape, it means that you are now relying upon the two. And that's idolatry. And that's a big trap. Or maybe they're not from an impoverished background. Maybe they want to be left alone. They want to, they want to preserve their static way of thinking instead of um, growing. That's why they want to have financial prosperity in order to have their house, their way, where they want it in order to have control. If that's, if that's why you want financial prosperity, it's also, you're also trapped. You're now also relying on a tool to give you relief. Look, financial prosperity in itself is nothing wrong with it. Christ said that he came so that we would have life and life more abundantly. So life and abundance, well, I'm saying prosperity, there's nothing wrong with it. But catch this, Satan also has a kind of pros pros prosperity that he offers. But the prosperity Satan brings is destructive. Let me say it better. The prosperity Satan gives you is self-destructive. That's why he gives you that prosperity. It's a counterfeit prosperity. 
is prosperity, but it's a counterfeit. And most people are hooked at the counterfeit prosperity Satan is offering. Why are they hooked up with the counterfeit prosperity of the world? Because they never look at the bigger picture. They never evaluated what comes with it. This brings me to another thing. And this is where I want to go with this video. Nobody in this world can have a big spending capacity and not encounter violence. Nobody in this world can have prosperity without resistance against that prosperity. What you see on TV in those reality shows that someone has become rich so-called by them working hard or being streetwise. You, in movies you also see drug dealers in movies have become rich and they have, they've made it. And they live happily ever after with only a few fossils here and there. That's not reality. That's not how it operates. Look, worldly people operate in duality. Worldly people want relief. They are relief-centered. Very few people out of the world can see the bigger picture in general. There are even believers who, are, who often still operate in darkness. They're, they're, let me say, I dare to say that most believers today, at the time I made this video, are just as relief-centered as worldly people. Look, and people that operate in duality, they don't want you to have more spending capacity than they have. They don't mind you having a higher position. They don't mind you even having a million on your bank account as long as your spending capacity does not overrule their comfort. The moment you have more spending capacity, and you don't need to be a millionaire or a CEO to have much spending capacity. The moment you have more spending capacity than they have, or let me say the moment your spending capacity is dominant and it is and let me say it perpetrates in the world around you, the moment that happens there will be resistance. People will get uncomfortable. People will lose sleep over you having more spending capacity. Especially if they're the ones around you that will that will be affected and impacted by your spending capacity. Look, when Christ walked the earth, even though he did not have physical riches, he had spending capacity. And his spending capacity did not work out in line with the expectations of the world around him. So what happened? You know what happened. Some of you who are listening to this recording, you are not ready to walk in financial prosperity. That's why the Lord is hindering it from manifesting with you. You know why? Because you are still holding on to expectations that don't add up. Or maybe you don't have any wrong expectations. Maybe you are in agreement with Christ. But it can be that financial prosperity at this time in your life would attract a lot of trouble. Maybe you are around certain people that you better not be around. Some people, you can be around them, but not when you have more spending capacity than they have. Because the moment you have more spending capacity than they have, well, they'll turn on you like beasts. You have such people. So, and often, they will not come from far. So, look. Don't idolize financial prosperity. Financial prosperity, it is relevant, it is important, but it's not the most important thing. So, wait upon the Lord, rely upon Him, agree with Him, and be at peace.